Hello everyone, I'm Lucy from the University of Melbourne, and I'm very happy to present on behalf of my co-authors, Ren Galway, Dalia Jovic, Taylor Hardwick, and Molly Ann Butt, on our paper titled Towards Ethical AI Moderation in Multiplayer Games. It's very well documented that multiplayer games have problems with toxicity, including harassment, abuse, and many forms of problematic player interactions. One method that game companies use to manage toxicity is through automated moderation. So this often includes in-game tools that allow players to mute or block other players, to report or flag them, as well as chat filters. These tools are important in removing toxic content, but they are limited in many ways. So for instance, players often find ways around chat filters. In response to these limitations, some game companies are introducing AI moderation tools. So these tools use machine learning and natural language processing to detect and respond to toxic interactions. For instance, the third-party moderation application Bodyguard AI detects and responds to harmful text chat in games um, based on severity and context. Another commercial tool called ToxMod analyzes the tone, context, and intention of voice chat and escalates problematic interactions to human moderators. These tools claim numerous benefits in their ability to analyze context, work in real time, and monitor both text and voice chat. Uh, they also don't require user or player reports in order to detect or respond to harassment. But an important question still remains about whether AI is actually well-placed to govern our activities online. So there are already ethical concerns about the ways these tools are used in games and other online contexts, including criticisms of their lack of transparency and their focus on punishment. So to better understand the opportunities and challenges involved, we set out to first understand how players and industry professionals understand, experience, and perceive AI moderation in multiplayer games. We also asked, how can AI moderation be implemented in multiplayer games in responsible and ethical ways? So to respond to these questions, we first attended two workshops with AI experts in which we led discussion and brainstorming activities about the potential roles of AI in moderation in multiplayer games. We then conducted 26 in-depth semi-structured interviews with players and industry professionals, including developers of AI moderation tools. We drew from the richness of metaphors to analyze the data and use template analysis to capture the metaphorical roles that participants see AI as playing in moderating games, highlighting the tensions and opportunities in this space. We found that participants in the expert workshops explored a diverse array of rich metaphors to describe how AI could potentially function as a moderator, captured here in four different categories. So this included the caretaking and guidance roles, such as a parent, maintenance and assistant roles, such as a gardener, entertainment and influence roles, such as a pinata, and protection and control roles, such as a covert operator. And there was particular interest in exploring the potential for caretaking and guidance roles that went beyond protection and control. Despite this wide variety of potential metaphors, we also found that participants viewed current AI moderation as largely performing protection and control roles. So in particular, in our analysis of the interviews, um, we generated just four key metaphors, capturing how players and industry professionals described current AI moderation in games. This includes the unreliable police force, the unscrupulous governor, the uncaring judge, and the untiring assistant. So in the first theme, participants described AI moderation as being like an unreliable police force, responding to crimes, violations, and offenses, through enforcement measures that were often unreliable in some way. And while some participants saw this role as making games safer, um, partic participants also had concerns about the incompetence, lack of transparency, and overreach of the AI as police. In the second theme, participants described the AI as being like an unscrupulous or corrupt governor, ruling over player communities in ways that aren't always good for that community. 
So players expressed concern about the top-down enforcement of rules and suspected that AI was programmed with hidden agendas. Industry professionals expressed conflicting opinions as well about who should be in charge of designing and implementing AI moderation systems. Thirdly, participants saw AI moderation as being like an uncaring judge. So presiding over reports, making judgments and issuing punishments. They compared it to human moderators and had varied opinions on whether it's lack of emotion led it to be more or less consistent than humans. Many players saw the AI as judged to be particularly unclear in the reasoning behind its sentences and appeal pathways. Finally, participants saw AI moderation as being like an untiring assistant. So while they saw benefits in its ability to work tirelessly to address toxicity, they saw it as ultimately unsuitable for making high level decisions and saw it as better placed to assist and serve human moderators. So what does all this tell us? Overall, both players and industry professionals recognize the importance of AI in moderation in making games safer but they did express a wide variety of ethical concerns. Despite the potential for AI to be implemented in more nurturing and guiding ways, it is currently seen to extend and exacerbate the existing top-down punitive justice systems in games. Drawing from these findings, we identify four key ethical issues raised by our participants that we see as holding promise for future AI moderation design. So this includes transparency, privacy, fairness and inclusion, and human AI collaboration. These are quite common ethical issues related to AI more generally, but our findings show that it's important to think about how they can be applied in multiplayer gaming in particular. For instance, many players were confused by how AI systems made their moderation decisions. Many players weren't even sure if AI was present in the games that they played. So in our paper, we discuss the potential for the integration of explainable AI principles in moderation systems to improve transparency in this area. We also explore four alternative metaphors for AI, the teacher, guardian, advocate, and upstander. And we look at how these metaphors might better address the ethical issues raised. And that's all from us. Uh, please check out our paper for more detail. And thank you very much.